Hello everyone, it's Robin here, and today we're gonna do something just a little bit different, because today we're gonna talk about my Disney YouTuber life. Woohoo! So the Get to Know Me Disney YouTuber tag is going around, and it was created by two wonderful ladies, Nina from Wrestling with Disney and Alicia from Cinder Alley Loves Disney. Both awesome women that I'm happy to call friends, and they have great channels. You may want to check them out. Well, I was tagged by one, nope, two, nope, three awesome other YouTubers and by the time the third one came around, I decided I need to get down to it and get mine done. So let me tell you about who tagged me. The first person who tagged me was Ian over at Disney Dad 83 and I really enjoy watching Ian's channel. He does pins but he also does collectibles, especially with the Disney doll releases. Oh. Those dolls are gorgeous, so if you want to get your fix in on Disney dolls and a whole bunch of beauty, you may want to check Ian's channel out. It is awesome. The next person who tagged me is another friend of mine, Mitzi from Bells of Cotton. And oh, I love watching Mitzi's channel too. Mitzi does a lot of Disney shopping hauls, which is like super, super fun. She also does pins and um, she just is a joy to watch. I love listening to her. She just makes me feel like a warm hug. That's all that is about it, and I love her. So you definitely check her out too. Now the third person who tagged me is my friend Maria over at Mouse People, and oh my goodness, is Maria fun too? Now Maria is a fairly new channel, but boy, she is ganging some speed there, that is for sure. She is very fun to watch. She does pin unboxings, uh, she also does hauls, she's done some part vlogs, she has her family get involved, it's just a lot of fun. I think the most recent video I watched of her, she had her two sons with her doing a pin unboxing. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. So thank you all for tagging me and I am excited to get started on this. now. Again, it's the Get to Know Me Disney YouTuber tag, and there are 15 questions, and I have my little cheat sheet here because I can't memorize 15 questions. <laughs> but I'm excited to do this. So the first question is, when did you start your YouTube channel? Well, I uploaded my first video last year on August 19th, so I've been around just under 10 months, so like a little over nine months maybe. I haven't been around a year yet, and it's just been awesome. Now, when I went in to check because I wanted to verify the date of my first upload, I also noticed that this video is my 167th video. What? That just number just boggles my mind. But yeah, super, super fun. So um, yeah, just under 10 months. Question number two. When did your love of Disney start? Well, you know what? As long as I can remember, I've had a love of Disney. I have always been obsessed with Disney. Now, I grew up in Southern California, so my close location to Disneyland was probably the main factor in that, but um, I just grew up with a Disney kind of household. We visited Disney, you know, once a year at that time. It's kind of how that worked. And, um, you know, I know the wonderful world of Disney was on TV on Sunday night, so that was always fun. There was always, you know, the Mickey Mouse Club going on and all the movies, and I really was immersed in it as a child. So my love of Disney has been since as long as I can remember. Forever. And always. <laughs> Number three, what inspired you to start sharing your love of Disney on a YouTube channel? Well, we're getting to the nitty gritty here now, aren't we? So let's see if I can condense this a bit. So I started thinking uh, last spring that I wanted to have a YouTube channel. Um, I think it was last May, because May was a pivotal month for me. Uh, I was watching the Tim Tracker, and he and Jen had posted a video where they went to Disney Springs and did a pin trading for the first time. I was amazed at this video. It seemed like so much fun. So from that, I started researching pin videos, and of course I found Becca. So Disney Kitty popped up, of course, and I just, you know, mesmerized and enamored with her from the beginning, of course, and loved watching all her videos. I think what I did was I ended up binging all of her Vlogmas videos, which there's a whole other story because Vlogmas is amazing. <laughs> and in one of her videos during Vlogmas, she said, 
If you want to start a YouTube channel, just do it. Just don't wait, just do it. And you know, that resonated with me. Now, it didn't mean I started it right away. I had some things to develop before I did, but I mean, that was my next point I had. So I um, started getting some pins because I wanted to see if it's something that I could enjoy. And while I was doing that too, all through summer while watching Disney Kitty, I also then found my other, my other love in YouTube and that was Princess Minnie, so Kate's channel. And I just completely binged them all summer long loved their channels and what they both showed me is that I could share about Disney without having to go to the park. I could get into this pin world and do other things and um, I didn't have to be in the parks because I didn't live near a park so I didn't really know how that could work. And all of that just kind of lined up to where I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do my YouTube channel and it's going to be Disney pin related. Oh. And you know what, I haven't looked back since. Number four, what are your favorite Disney topics? Disney film, Disney parks, Disney collector's items, etc. Well, like I said, my favorite subject to talk about is Disney pins. I love the Disney pins. But you know, through Disney pins, I can talk about so many things. I can talk about memories that I've had in the parks because every pin sparks some kind of memory in me, that's for sure. I can talk about the art of Disney and look, I have some pins over here. So look, I can talk about the art of Disney because each pin is its own piece of artwork. Look at this Ariel Windows of Magic pen. It's amazing, it's just a little piece of art. Now I just, I have some pins sitting here from uh, my pin mail that I just opened a couple of days ago. I'll link that video down below so you can get a closer look at these pins, but this pin is beautiful as a piece of art. I can also talk about other Disney parks because you know, there's pins that come from Paris there's pins that come from Tokyo, and there's pins that also come from Hong Kong and Shanghai. So I can talk about all the different parks when I'm looking at the pins. I also can talk about attractions, which I think is one of my favorite things because I have some attraction pins, and this Haunted Mansion diorama pin, okay, attraction and piece of art, like seriously, right? Um, I can talk about my love for attractions through these pins. So. Um, I love the Disney pens for all of those things. I will never run out of anything to say. I'm sorry to tell you that, but I will never run out of anything to say with Disney pens because each pen just marks a little magical moment. Uh, whatever inspires me at the time, whether it's an experience or a memory or something to look forward to or a park or a film or an attraction, it's just all there. So um, yeah, that's my favorite Disney topic. Number five, if you could meet one Disney YouTuber, who would it be? One? Here's the thing. I can't even pick one pin for a pin tag. You think I'm gonna pick one YouTuber? <laughs> Now, here's something that some of you may not know. So the Disney YouTube community is, I'm serious about the best community there is out there. And the Disney YouTuber community is also very close knit. We chat a lot. Now, a lot of times we have never met each other, but we chat a lot as if we've known each other. I would love to meet anybody that I've been chatting with, that's for sure. Uh, it's just fun. But um, let's go this route. There are three people who directly influenced me in my channel and inspired me and and I haven't met them yet. And so for that, I would love to meet meet these ladies. And the first one of course is Becca, Disney Kitty. I think I explained earlier how she completely inspired me. And um, you know, she's she forged this path for all of us pin collector people to come on YouTube. And she is the sweetest person. And uh, yeah, I would definitely love to meet Becca. I think she's a lot of fun too. Of course, I would love to meet my friend Kate from Princess Minnie. She has been a great influence uh, for me. I mean, I binged her the whole summer and uh, you know, she and I, we chat back and forth quite a bit, so that is a lot of fun. The third person I would love to meet is Nina from Wrestling with Disney. When I first started my channel, um, you know, you're kind of looking for, how to do it all. Well, Nina had set up a Facebook group for Disney YouTubers and I joined that and you know, that was a 
great resource for me. Nina is just a lot of fun, so absolutely I would like to meet her too. Now, I want to meet the rest of you too, okay? But these three people have always been my top three people that have influenced the beginnings of my channel. Number six, what do your loved ones think of your love for Disney? We're all obsessed, so they don't think anything of it. It's a completely natural experience, that's for sure. Number seven, what is your earliest Disney memory? So like I told you, I lived in Southern California and you know Disneyland then was right there and my earliest, earliest memory is going to Disneyland. Um, I was very young, I don't know what age I was, but I was big enough to walk around because there was no strollers involved. So I was big enough to walk around yet small enough that when I went like this with my arms, somebody would pick me up. <laughs> but I remember going with my mom and my dad and my grandma and my grandpa. And I remember going on all the rides with my grandpa. And it, it, I don't know why, it was just him. But I also remember that you had to, at the time, so here I'm dating myself, at the time you had to buy individual tickets uh, for the rides. So you could get a, a book when you went in of tickets and that's where all those A tickets, B, C, D, and E tickets came in. And you know, of course the E tickets were all those great big rides, but I was young, I loved the C tickets because they were all the Fantasyland rides. And I remember at the time too, you could also get in without tickets, uh, just pay less just to get in if you didn't have a ticket to go on a ride. And I know my grandmother always did that for some reason. And I don't know why she didn't go on the rides. Later in life she did, because I took my mom and grandma to Disneyland all the time. <laughs> so, um, but early on, I just remember going with um, my family. I was an only child, I was an only grandchild, so I was very doted on. Um, you know, I talked recently in a video about seeing walk around characters and seeing the seven dwarfs and I'm wondering if that was that early on trip because the seven dwarfs used to walk around and they would be in succession like a train and they would all walk in sync and I could just hear them scuffling and whatnot. So it was just really a lot of fun. I think at the time too, the big bad wolf and the uh, three pigs would walk around. That's kind of weird, right? <laughs> But yeah, but my earliest memory is going with my family and I loved it and I just love remembering going on all those rides with my grandpa. Number eight, who is your favorite Disney villain, Disney princess, and overall Disney character? Whew, that's hard because there's so many of them. So villains. Now I tend to like the comical villains because I just think they're funny. Like I adore Captain Hook. And I really like Ursula too because I think she's kind of a comical villain. Um, but I am really infatuated right now with the evil queen old hag. And there's nothing comical about her, but I love her duality. And um, probably also for my love of Snow White, which we'll probably get into in the next one with princesses. But um, my favorite right now probably is evil queen and old hag. Um, but I adore Captain Hook and then Ursula's kind of up in there too. Now for princesses, now if you've seen recently, we've been looking for my princess, right? But I do love Snow White. Um, I love her caring nature. I love how all those scenes where she goes in and, and she just takes care of the seven dwarfs and she dances with them and I just love, love, love that. Um, I love Cinderella too. I think that that's a beautiful story. I think that she is very loyal, uh, devoted to family. Um, She's got some cleaning qualities for sure, right? And um, I just, I think she's beautiful. She is a beautiful princess. Um, and I've now also added Ariel to my list. I totally love Ariel uh, for her, her impulsivity and just all of her fun. I just, I love all three of those princesses. Now for favorite character, Cheshire Cat all the way. I love that cat. I, I don't know why I love that cat, but I do. I mean, I love his pink colors. I love that he comes in and out all the time. You just never know what you're going to get. Um, I just think he's fun. I also love all the fairies. Every one of them. I have a fairy collection. I absolutely love them. So like, you know, Tinkerbell, uh, the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty, um, and, and Maleficent. She's a fairy too. I absolutely love her in that collection. Uh, Blue Fairy, uh, fairy godmother, if, if it's a fairy, yeah, in that collection for sure. Um, so yeah, that about does it, right? <laughs> Number nine, what Disney character do you think you relate to the most? Hmm. Well, I am really relating to Ariel. Um, I love her impulsivity. 
I love how inquisitive she is. She wants to learn new things. I love that she's a collector and I totally relate to all those things. But what I really relate to her and what I really love about Ariel is that she doesn't settle for what her society says she should be. She sees something that she wants and she goes after it. Now you have to know, she's a mermaid, right? Her family probably thought that was the strangest thing in the world that she wanted to be a human. Like, why would you do that? Why would you go and do that? See, does some of that maybe sound familiar when in our lifetimes when we wanna do something that's a little bit out of the box or out of the norm for what our society says we should do? Um, and it shouldn't be that way. But Ariel breaks through that. She wants to be a human and she finds a way to do it. Now, it doesn't mean she always did it the right way, but she at least found a way to do it. She wasn't afraid to try. And I love that about her. And I totally relate to that because I don't always beat to the normal society drummer. Um, I tend to do things the backwards way. Uh, but, uh, and, I, and, I, and I find sometimes people don't always understand um, what I do, but um, I, I love that. I love going out. I love thinking outside the box. I love doing things a little out of the ordinary because it's out of the ordinary where it's really exciting and fun and creative and all of those good things. That's where I like to live. So yeah, I'm really relating to Ariel. That is for sure. Number 10. Do you share your love of Disney outside of the YouTube community? <gasps> Well, yes, I do, but I do it in much smaller pieces. I mean, let's be real here. You can't get your Disney freak on all the time. Those muggles, they just can't handle it. <laughs> Number 11, how has the overall experience of being a Disney YouTuber been thus far? It has been fabulous. I'm telling you, I am having the time of my life. Um, this has been one of the best things that I have ever done. And you know, the perks of it have far exceeded my expectations. Um, you know, when I went in to become a Disney YouTuber, what I didn't expect were all of the friendships and connections I would make with viewers through the comments with other Disney YouTubers and just being able to share, you know, that common ground. Uh, the Disney community is, I swear, has to be the best community ever. And I am so happy and proud to be a part of it. This experience, again, far exceeded any expectations I would have ever had. Uh, I enjoy myself all the time. I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm sharing, I'm connecting. And you know, those are all good words, right? So yeah, it has been a wonderful experience. Number 12. What do your loved ones think about you being on YouTube? Okay, well, I have a very supportive family and I know, I know a lot of you see that because my husband, Rod, you see him, he joins in a lot of the fun. He likes to be in the videos. You've seen my son, Jacob, he joins in on the videos too. Anytime I get any one of them around me, I'm gonna stick him in a video and that's just how that's gonna go. <laughs> now, the other kids back home, I think they watch sometimes. They do ask me about it uh, quite a bit and you know, I think I'm impressing them. I'll tell you that which is what any good mom of adult children should do. You should always strive to impress those children. <laughs> Number 13, how has YouTubing about Disney helped to bring Disney magic into your life? Well, um, by YouTubing it, I am thinking it all the time because I'm planning it, I'm scheduling it, I'm videoing it, I'm editing it, I'm uploading it, I'm commenting about it. So in that respect, I mean, I am living it. I am um, on a daily basis thinking about it. It's present in my mind and um, that is all good. Now, Walt Disney, um, such a wonderful man in that he was a dreamer, but not just that, but he was a doer. See, you can be a dreamer and not a doer, but being a dreamer and a doer, that's where the magic happens. And he created this bubble, I guess, for all of us to be involved in. And it's filled with inspiration and making connections and just all of those moments. Um, I love 
being on YouTube. I love the comments that I get from a video. I love interacting with you guys. I love chit chatting with my YouTuber friends um, on Instagram um, and some of you who have messaged me on Instagram too. And you know, just making those human connections in, in today's world, like I am sitting here in Illinois and I talk with people in England, in Singapore, um, in Paris. I talk with people in Florida, in California, in Pennsylvania, in Minnesota, um, New York, um, in, in, in other Illinois. I just talk with so many people that I don't have the physical chance to meet and see. And I have this fun group of friendships from it. So um, to say how, Disney YouTube is bringing Disney magic in my life. I mean, how is it not? I love it and um, I do feel that magic on a daily basis. Is that too cheesy of an answer? <laughs> Number 14, what are your other passions outside of Disney and YouTube? Hmm. So I've done quite a few things in my life. <laughs> so I've mentioned photography. That is definitely a passion of mine. I don't get to that as much now as I was in the past because right now my obsessions are on Disney and YouTube because I love creating videos and I love editing videos, but it said other than that, so I have to take them off the table. But do you see I snuck them on in there? <laughs> I love creating websites. I love making websites. Um, I do that for uh, some people here. Um, I love traveling, of course. Uh, I love cruises. See, that's fun too. You know, with family, I mean, we moved away from family, but uh, a huge thing that I love to do is I loved the family gatherings. And whenever we go back there and we can do this again, it's really fun. Uh, when I was there, I was cooking for everybody and I love doing that. Um, and we play board games. Oh my goodness, we are huge board game family. Um, I miss doing that all the time. I miss the family gatherings with the big board games. Uh, they're, 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 they're still fun. We still do it sometimes now, but you know, it's not as much. I mean, we had five kids and with extras, we always had 10 plus people in the house trying to play all these board games. It's so much fun, love that. Um, and decorating cupcakes. Definitely love decorating cupcakes. Uh, Huge cupcake decorator fan here. I don't know, was that enough? <laughs> Question number 15, and this is the last one. What is your biggest dream for your channel? Wow. Oh, there's a question and uh, you know this question uh, makes me think of journey versus destination and I will tell you where my heart lies in my motivations always fall in the journey I am way more about the journey than I am the destination I always have been and uh, with that in mind while I do have some goals in mind obviously for my channel um, I really just want to continue to grow uh, to learn. I want to get better. I want to continue to make connections and uh, to inspire people. So um, hopefully that answers it. Uh, my heart always falls in the journey. And you know, even when I'm planning Disney trips, I think my husband says all the time that he thinks I have more fun planning the trip than I do actually going. Well, Okay, I do have fun going, right? But planning the trip, I mean, think about it. Usually you're planning months in advance for a few days there. That months in advance, I'm living that trip all the time. That is a much longer amount of time than the time you're there. <laughs> but yeah, my motivating factor, definitely the journey. So this was an awesome fun tag. And I wanna thank my friends Nina from Wrestling With Disney and Alicia from Cinderella Loves Disney again for creating such a fun tag. And I also wanna thank three special people who tagged me. Ian from Disney Dad 83, Mitzi from Bells of Cotton, and Maria from Mouse People. Thank you, number one, for tagging me, and number two, for being patient and waiting for me to put my video up. <laughs> so I will link down below all their videos so you can go check them out and see the answers to theirs. I really enjoyed sharing about my Disney YouTube life, and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me down below in the comments. I would be happy to answer them. In the meantime, I hope you all are having a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.